Binance Grid Trading Bots Tutorial Spot and Futures. Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at Binance Grid Trading Bots. We're going to be covering both spot and futures markets and I'll walk you through what grid trading is, the benefits and the risks, and how you can set up your own bot step by step, how you can manage your risk, and whether you're a beginner or looking to just optimize your strategies. This tutorial will guide you from start to finish. Starting off, we need to understand what is grid trading, so let's jump right in. But before you can dive into grid trading, you do need to create your Binance account and you can do that by heading on over to binance.com once you create your account you do need to complete identity verification so you can go into your profile and complete your verification because unless you complete your verification you are not able to execute trades on binance now moving forward we're going to be talking about what exactly is grid trading grid trading is an automated strategy that places buy and sell orders at the preset intervals within a defined price range for example if i go into trading over here go into the spot market and i'm just going to show you guys how it works and i select my token pair let's say i want to do this for btc and usdt what it's going to do is I will set a range. Let's say I want to keep on buying BTC when it reaches a price of 92,000 and I want to sell it at 95,000 over and over again. And this would happen at regular intervals. So let's say the price, the current price is 94. The price drops to 94,000. Okay. I would buy. And then as soon as the price goes to 94,100, I would sell. Then I would buy again and sell again. What this does is that this enables you to purchase and sell at a frequent interval which can garner you a lot of profit so this is what the basic strategy is so imagine dividing a price chart into a grid at each line the bot is going to be ready to buy if the price drops or sell if the price rises the goal is to profit from small price swings especially in sideways or volatile markets now on binance there are two main types of grid bots first off we have spot grid bots which are going to be buying and selling actual cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum within your chosen price range then if you take a look at futures the futures market within binance Binance, where you are predicting the price of crypto, also does have these types of bots. So these trade futures contracts allow you to profit from both rising and falling prices. You can use leverage in futures, which can amplify your gain, but it also involves more risk. Now, grid trading is popular because it takes the emotion out of trading and it works 24 seven, capturing profits from every little market movement. Now, let's take a look at some of the benefits and the risks. So the benefits are pretty clear. First off, if I were to build a grid bot over here, I would automate my trading. You don't need to sit at your computer all day and worry about missing opportunities. Secondarily, they remove emotion from your trades, the bot sticks to the plan no matter what, and you can actually get a lower buying average. Thirdly, they are perfect for volatile or sideways markets when the price bounces up and down, up and down. If you take a look at the overall analysis over the past day, you would be able to see how much the price goes up and down even within a day. You can make a lot of profit in small increments out of these price bounces. But with any trading strategy, there are going to be risks. So if the price breaks out of your grid range, you could be left holding a losing position. What this means is that let's say that I'm going to do this in the spot trading market. So you guys can see trade. We are going to build a trading bot and we're going to click on spot grid. We're going to start building our spot grid. And you guys can see we have popular, we also have manual, and I'm going to set up my own numbers. Let's say I want to buy at 94,000, and then the upper limit is 94,500. Now, you guys will see this is my grid. If the price jumps over my grid, what it will do is that it's going to purchase all the BTC at 94,500. And because the price is not going to come down, I will be left holding that BTC. This is going to be a major risk, especially if you build these types of grids, which are very close together. So if I was to amplify this, let's say 98,000, 
and then this is my lower price and this is my upper price. Now, again, if my upper price is 9800 and I build four grids over here, okay? What this does is that let's say it purchases over here, which is at 96. But if the price falls down to 94 and it doesn't go back up to 96, I would be having a loss. I would not be able to make a profit off of that. So that is a really important thing to remember. Now, another really big thing is in the futures market, you can use leverage, which means you could be liquidated if the market moves sharply against you. So if I'm actually doing this in the futures market and I used a leveraged position to purchase this and the position is not a good position, the price range goes out of my price range or, or my grid bots, I could be liquidated. And when you're liquidated, all of the money in your futures wallet that you have put up as collateral is going to be uh, taken away, which is something that a lot of beginners don't understand. You know, you don't understand the risk of liquidation, especially when you are just starting out and you're just making some smaller trades. Uh, th that kind of leverage does not really hit you. So you do have to keep that in mind. And grid bots don't perform well in strong trending markets. So if the price just keeps going up or keeps going down without bouncing, your grid bot is going to be useless because grid bots are tools that can only make money if the price is bouncing, not if it's only going up or going down. Keep in mind, these are not magic money making machines and risk management is crucial and I am not a financial advisor. So make sure to do your own research before you start trading. Now, what do I mean that if the price does not bounce, I don't make a profit? Well, for example, I'll take a look at the one week price and you guys can see the price is pretty much trending and going upwards. OK, if I built a grid and I left it on for one day, it's not going to be very beneficial. Why? The price is constantly going up. If my grid is in one zone, let's say my grid is in 93 and 90 or 9000 and 93. This is where my grid lies. OK, and the price keeps going up. This basically means that whatever trades I make over here, I might be able to make a short term profit off of them, but I'm not going to be able to actually make a long term profit or make a decent profit in the long run, especially if I leave this bot running for a longer pre period of time. This is just a one week price chart. So if I leave this bot running for a week, that just means I'm going to have a loss. So bouncing prices are really important. And if you are building these types of bots, you do want to create a short term bot just to see how it's going to perform. Because in the short run, these bots are really great. So for one day, two days, three days. But if you try to do this with a token like BTC, which is guaranteed to go up or, you know, a stable coin, it's guaranteed to go up. A lot of these tokens are not going to be beneficial for you. Now, moving on into our next segment, which is going to be how these particular spot grids or future grid bots work. So we're going to focus on spot grid bots first because the spot market is far less risk involved and it's simpler to understand. Now, here's how it works. You're going to choose your price range and then you're going to decide how many grids or levels you want to split that range into. Let's say I want it to be 10 grids and I'm going to make a larger price difference, which is going to be 100K. I think 100K is going to be a bit much, so I'm going to go with 99,000 like this and this is what my grid is going to look like i'm gonna go into the one day price and you guys can see this is a very large grid and i'm building 10 grids within this you can choose arithmetic or geometric grids they are slightly different um the differences are each grid has equal price difference or arithmetic grids have each grid has equal price difference, but those have price ratio difference. So I want to go with arithmetic grids over here. And from here, the bot is going to place an order at each grid below the current price and sell the order at each grid above. As the price moves up, the bot automatically buys low, sells high, capturing small profits with each swing. So if the bot buys at $9,000, okay, and then it rises up to 9,000 or 
$90,000 and it rises up to like $91,000, the bot sells, locking in a profit. This price is going to be repeated. So this process is repeated as long as the price goes in those ranges. And as long as the price is within your grid, it's going to keep on repeating that process. So the lowest it can possibly buy is at $90,000, which is my uh, lowest price. And then the highest it can buy is at $99,000. But if it buys at or 98,900, okay, and the price just goes up to 90 or 100K, then it's not going to make any decisions because the price is not going to be within your grid. So it's a simple but powerful way to automate trading, especially in choppy markets. Now, when you have created your account, you have three different ways you can build these spot grids. So when you're setting up your spot grid, you have three options. You have AI, you have popular spot grids you can follow, and you can see the number of people that are following these grids. And then you also have manual where you can set them up yourself. Now, the more number of grids means the frequent your trades are going to be, but there's going to be a smaller profit per trade. And then you enter your investment amount, how much money you're looking to spend on doing this. And then after that, you can choose arithmetic or geometric. Arithmetic has equal price intervals and then geometric has equal percentage intervals. Arithmetic is just easier to understand. And you will see the estimated profit per grid, which is usually between 0.5 to 4% per trade, depending on your settings. So if I want to spend like a thousand or ten thousand dollars, I can enter that here. Once you're happy with your settings, you can click on create and the bot will start trading automatically. Now, from here, we are going to take a look at some other popular trading strategies. So you can see BTC slash BRL. You can see the minimum investment amount, the PL, profit and loss, the ROI, runtime is three days, 24 hour total mesh trades, price ranges, and the grid numbers. Then, if we go back into the popular one, we have several different ones available. And keep in mind, you do want to ensure that the ROI and the profit and loss is decent where there's not a lot of loss. Even if the profit is not too high, you ideally do not want to do copy trading in strategies where there is larger risk for loss. You can search for a specific token pair as well. I want to take a look at the top ROI or let's say the top copied. And these are the top copied ones over here as well. Now, if I take a look at the top ROI, it is an 8.48% ROI and a runtime of four days. And then after that, you can enter. The price range is pretty decent. There are four grids and you can customize these parameters as well to match your own trading strategies. Now, a really popular tool right now is AI trading which has been now introduced within Binance as well, which basically means that an AI tool can build your own parameters. We have short-term sideways, short to midterm sideways, where it's generated from the past seven days, technical indicator data. The short term is going to be from the past three days and midterm fluctuations, it's going to be from the past 30 days. And then you also have 180 days, which is the long-term fluctuations data. Now you're going to choose whichever trade you want to copy the recommended runtime. And first I'm going to actually select my token pair, which is going to be BTC slash USDT. Then I can go into AI. And once I go into AI, I can click on copy. You guys can see the recommended runtime is three to seven days. The price range is 87 to 101. The number of grids is 45. The mode is arithmetic. The profit grid where the fees are deducted is estimated to be 0 0.09 to 0.14%. Set all BTC on stop is enabled and you can enter your investment amount from here. And just like that, you can proceed with an AI recommended strategy. You can even click on customize parameters and this will be added over here. And then from here, you can choose to customize your parameters. Now, whenever you're setting up your parameters, a lot of people do not realize this but if you scroll down you have advanced options and you can click on take profit stop loss this grid will automatically stop at market prices when the last price of the selected pair or the grid's pnl or roi reaches a specified amount so let's say i like to go with an roi and i want to take profit at eight percent and i want to stop my losses at two percent 
like this and what this does is that this makes sure that even if the price ranges are going to fall above or below your expected grids or your expected estimations based upon your technical indicators you're still not going to have a higher risk of liquidation or just draining out your investment and you're still going to be able to make a short-term profit off of your investment now let's talk a bit more about the futures trading bots so these are very similar to spot bots you can click on the top to start building your own futures grid and when you click on this it's going to pretty much be very similar other than your manual settings having neutral long and short positions Keep in mind that reverse positions reminder in a continuous downtrend enabling trailing down functions for a long grid can lead to creation of short positions. Then you also have short positions, again, where we have trailing up, which can create long positions as well. Or if you want to go with, with a neutral strategy. Now, your futures contract are going to be sold instead of the actual asset, and that is the major difference between a futures grid bot and a primary grid bot okay a spot grid bot and you can use leverage which means you can control a larger position with this smaller amount of capital but again you do have to put up collateral for this and the best part about using this type of bot is that the futures bot can give you a profit or you can set them up to give you a profit in both directions which means even if the price is going down you predicted that the price is going down which can make you a profit and even if the price is going up you can make a profit against that as well now let's go on ahead and take a look at some of the parameters we can set up first off you can do this at autofill as well we can see this is what the autofill has recommended we can add the investment then we can proceed with our trailing up and trailing down you can turn on your stop loss and take profit as well. You also have a trailing down. So if the market price, it falls below the grid bot's lower limit for more than one step, the bot will cancel the sell order at the highest price and place a new sell order above the current market price, moving that entire grid one step downwards. So what this does is that this is not going to stop your trading when your price falls below. What is it's going to do is it's basically going to take the price grids one spot down. And if you put a trailing up position, again, this is going to put the bot one trail up. Keep in mind, this can end up using more of your investment if you set up trailing up and trailing down options. So if you're just starting out, you can just go with the take profit stop loss and you can set up a grid trigger as well. So that just enables you to make a really decent strategy. Then on your top, you will have your margins. So you can use your leverage. You can use leverage up to 125 per times, but I don't recommend using leverage any higher than 5% as a beginner because these trading strategies are very complicated. And sure, initially they might seem pretty easy to execute, but in the long run, you do have to account for a lot of different things. So you do want to make sure that you are playing it on the safer side, okay? And then you again have AI tools, so you can copy trade with these short to midterm strategies. You have midterm fluctuations, long-term fluctuations available, as well as popular ones. If I go into all and then ROI, currently we don't have any copy trades available or that are within the futures grid market. So just like that, you can get started with Binance Grid Trading Bots. I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.